Greeting everyone. Um, today I want to do a little quick video and to show you guys how um, um, something that I found out that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, if you have your PS, if you have a PS Vita and how to play your PSP games. Well, you could either play your PSP game as a well running a PSP emulator on there. I wouldn't call it quite a PSP emulator. It's more like a PSP simulator. Because the reason why is because the way that emulator, emulator, emulator is installed, it's, it's like an actual PSP. It doesn't feel like an emulator. It feels like more like a simulation, and like an actual PSP. So, so before I get into that, I'm gonna show you guys how it goes, and if later you guys wanna find out how to install it and how to to get it, I'll show you guys. I'll get a tutorial going. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys how. For example, I'm going to show you something. Um, as of right now, this is my PS Vita. And these are apps you will need to have installed. I mean, pretty much that one, H and Core and Vita Shell. Uh, those are the two you're going to need to install. And then once you have that, then you can install this application, which is called Adrenaline. And that that's the PSP simulation or emulation or whatever you want to call it so I'm gonna start it and you guys are gonna see for yourselves and you tell you guys tell me and what you think here we go you gonna touch it here we go it's gonna start Look at that. You got the PSP just like you would have it. Look at it. It's exactly like the PSP. I want you guys to look at it. It's a PS Vita. This is not a PSP. But as you can see right now, this is where it's showing up just like a PSP. If I go to the network, guess what? You have the same options like a PSP. If you go here, you get the same options. It's like everything is there like a PSP. Everything you would expect. So I'm going to play a game, like a PSP game, that's not di released digitally. Only if you have physical copies. Like for example, Shin Budokai. You know, that's one of my favorite games. So play that a lot so now I'm gonna play that in there remember this is a PS Vita you're playing that on a PS Vita not a PSP a PS Vita as you can see um, so yep here we go we're going here I want you guys to see that clearly like I'm seeing it. It's a pretty cool, um, it was pretty cool. The fact that they're able to do that. And I was like, I was impressed. Seeing this for the first time got me really excited. I was like, wow. These guys worked really hard for this. I'm gonna pause on uh, go straight to. Yeah. I'm just install that for the first time. So, so what I'm gonna do now is go straight to the game and um, show you guys that it works perfectly, like you expect it to. Uh, man, man, this is so annoying. So I gotta leave it in one spot. Here you go. Boom. I'm gonna do uh I'm not gonna do an arcade, I'm gonna do a quick training instead. 
So we got Goku, we got uh, everyone here. Let's do sale versus. Versus trucks, for example. Boom. We go here. Remember, we're playing that on the Vita, not a PSP. Just a simulation or emulation, emulator, whatever you wanna call it. I like to have the camera angle like this because that's what I'm used to. And let's see. Let me make these disappear okay so as you can see right now look at this it's pretty cool isn't it not only that the game actually looked better on the Vita than on the PSP so that's pretty much gonna make my life a lot easier when I'm doing recording especially if you have a PS Vita TV so now you can actually um, play those games and record them at a better quality thanks to thanks, thanks to that hack if that didn't happen to unlock the Vita potential <clears throat> you're gonna be able to do this so now now that we have that it makes things a lot easier in a lot of ways sometimes I use the emulator sometimes but <clears throat> the the emulator is still not perfect the PPSSPP sometimes I notice uh, some drop frame and that usually mess me up and I don't like that so that's why I rather use the actual hardware and that emulation right here it works just like the V uh, just like the PSP so it's not like it's like you're playing the game in the actual hardware that's all that's how good it is you don't have any hiccups, nothing. And the PS Vita is backward compatible with PSP games, so that's, that's just a bonus there. So, for example, if you want to go to the settings, you can just hold the pa the home button, and you go here, and you see a driven line. You go straight there, and there's the option here you can actually make the graphics even better like for example on on this setting I put advanced AAA anti-alias like right here you can change that and then smooth graphics yes make things a little bit smoother instead of uh, pixelated I kinda like the pixelated a lot better than than smooth, smooth kinda blurry Okay, so let's let's get out. So it's kind of blurred. So if I change it back to um, let's see, this this is I think um, from my idea this is better. This is some colors you can adjust: yellow, none, black. I think I like the black version. So now let's try to change it to the blue. This is a blue. This is this is like the perfect emulation period. If they release that on you know like on other app on other platform, that would be perfect. This is probably I don't know, I don't know what to call it. It's just perfect. It's like the perfect emulation for for PSP. But it's only available on the Vita. I don't know if they're gonna eventually make make a. They gotta make like a regular, you know. Yeah. 
yeah, like I said, it's perfect. Alright, that's it for the video. I just wanted to show you guys how that, um, you, now you can do these things. Like, game that was never released on, uh, digitally, now can be played on the PS Vita. Thanks to the hack that happened. Uh, from I gotta also mention those guys' names. I'm not gonna have it on the video because I don't know exact. I don't remember exactly what's their the exact name is of the group that actually did it. Um, but I'll at least put it on the description of the video so you guys can see and check them and check them out. Um, thanks, thank you guys for watching and. Um, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and uh, if you guys have any questions just leave it in the comment below and I should get back to you guys. Thank you. All right.